In this quick tutorial, we're going to take Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, we're going to take Advanced Custom Fields Pro, we're going to combine them together and create a great looking dynamic gallery. If you're interested, stick around and I'm going to take you through the entire process right now. So for this video, we need Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, we need Advanced Custom Fields Pro, and we also need Elementor Pro. So providing you've got those downloaded and installed, you're good to go to follow along with this video. My name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where we create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so this is the type of page layer we're going to work with. As you can see, it's a normal looking blog page. If we scroll down, you can see we've got some images, a nice gallery at the bottom. Click to open any of these up and we've got a nice light box effect and we can scroll through any of the images. Now, where this comes in to becoming more powerful is that this particular gallery is automatically set up and generated only if images are uploaded to a particular post as a new custom field using Advanced Custom Fields Pro. And that we then tap into the template and structure of Elementor Pro and we use one of the ultimate add-ons for Elementor, in this example, the gallery widget, and we can set that up to use dynamic information from ACF. So I want to demonstrate exactly how all of that is done. There are a couple of assumptions. You know your way around things like ACF and the template and structure of uh, Elementor Pro. Other than that, I'm going to kind of just give you the basics and show you what I've done to get this to work. That being said, this isn't a particularly complex subject, but once you get your head around working with advanced custom fields and how you can link those to various different widgets, especially ones now that are part of the ultimate add-ons for Elementor or UAE, you really do open up a whole range of really cool things you can do with your website. Okay, so let's just jump onto the dashboard. First thing we're going to do is create our custom field set. So I'm going to come to the advanced custom fields option on the left hand side, come in and click on add new. First thing we're going to do is give this a name. I'm going to call this gallery. Once we've done that, we're going to come down and set up some the conditions. So first things we want to put in the actual field we want to use. Now, like I said, keep it this simple. It's just going to use one additional field. And that's the whole concept of this. It's an additional field on top of what you already have as a typical default post section inside WordPress. You can get a lot more complicated, and I've got videos that will cover that in a lot more detail. I'll link those in the description below, so check those out if you want to know more about ACF. Okay, so we're going to add a new field. We're going to call this gallery. Let's just call this portfolio gallery. Once we've named it, you'll see it'll automatically fill out the field name underneath. And then we need to change the field type. Now, this is where you have to have the pro version of ACF. If you have the pro version, you'll have some additional tools in here you can use. The one we want is the gallery option. We're going to choose that. We can then come through and set up any additional parameters we want. So let's just say we wanted to specify that this is required. We also want to just make sure that only certain file types are allowed. We can do all of that kind of stuff. For now, I'm going to leave that as is. Once we've done that, everything is good to go there. We just need to come in and specify where we want this to be displayed. Otherwise, it'll display in, for example, all of the posts. We don't want that. We want to come down and choose a category is equal to and we're going to set that to portfolio. So once a portfolio is set as the category type inside our post section, this new field will open up and we can upload our images for our gallery for our portfolio. Anything else that's below that, you can go and turn those on and off if you want to. I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm just going to hit publish just to make sure that, that everything is in place. Okay, so there's the ACF portion of this done. We can now jump over to the template setup and go through and add in the relevant different widget and set everything up in there. So before we move on, let's go and add a couple of images to that new gallery and take a look at it in action. So if I come to the post section and we're going to come to all posts, I'll just edit a post I already have. So let's come to the Astro blog post. I'm going to click and open that up. Now, making sure that this is in the portfolio categories, if we scroll down, you can see we've got the portfolio gallery field, which is the new custom field we've just created. If we choose a different category, for example, events, you can see that now disappears because the little action that we set up to specify when this advanced custom field will display is no longer relevant, therefore it's hidden. So let's put that back to a portfolio and let's just choose a couple of images. We can then use those inside our template as a good idea of what these are going to look like when we edit everything to do with the layout. So let's just click on add to gallery. We're going to choose these five images and we just click on select. You can see that now as that into the portfolio gallery, all we need to do now is click on update to save those changes. And we can now jump over into the template section of Elementor Pro. So let's come over to the Elementor Pro section, come into my templates. 
we'll open that up and you can see there's all the templates we've cre created previously all listed if we want to create a new one now for the single post we could do that I've already gone ahead and done that just using a template to speed up the process and you can see it's the portfolio single template so I'm just going to come into edit with Elementor that'll open up the editor and allow us to now go in and add in this new widget we want to display our gallery of images Okay, so this is the design that I've gone for, and all I need to do is drop in the relevant widget in between the content and the like and share this article information. So what we're going to do is come over to the left-hand side, scroll down until we come to the different sections for ultimate add-ons, and we're now going to drag in the image gallery widget. So drag that where we want it, drop it in there, and you can see that now puts in a blank placeholder. So we take a look on the left-hand side, you can see we've got the gallery as the first option, and by default, we've got it set to grid. We're going to choose the new option, which is Justified, which has just been added to the latest version. So we're going to choose Justified. Now, if we wanted to, we could go through and add images ourselves manually, but that kind of negates the whole point of the advanced custom fields. What we want is the dynamic option. So we click on there. You can see we've got ACF Gallery Field because we have advanced custom fields installed. If we click on that, nothing will happen because we haven't told it what field we want to use. So we click on the little wrench icon. You can see it'll open up the settings tab and in there we've got the key. Now the key is the field that we want to reference. So we want the portfolio gallery. So we'll click on that and once we do that you'll see that now updates and shows us the images using the layout we've just chosen. So there's our data being pulled in. We can now go through and customize the way this looks. So at the moment it looks a little bit small and not very interesting. So let's come into the grid masonry justified option. We'll choose Justify for the last row to make sure everything sits and looks nice. And you can see that immediately updates everything to make sure that the last image fills the full width of the layout. Now, the images don't look the best at the moment, so we're going to change that in a second. First of all, let's adjust the row height, make those a little bigger. Let's go for something like, let's try 250, see what that looks like, or around that kind of figure. So there we go. That gives us a two by two grid and the fifth one then shows on its own. So that looks okay, but the images still look a little bit rubbish and a bit pixelated. So we come to the additional options. You can see we've got the image size. Now this is telling Elementor and the gallery what size image that's been automatically created inside uh, WordPress itself to use. We don't want the 300 by 300 because it's a little small. Let's go for the medium large and you should notice immediately the images look better. If you need to choose another option, you can go for any of these options to make sure you get great looking images to end up with. We've then got the click action. Now at the moment that says media file, so that will just link and open a new tab up with the file itself. We want to use the light box to get a nice gallery effect. We've then got the option for ordering, so we can go through there and we can say we want the default order, which is the order in which we put them in, or we can choose a random order. We can also use the caption option if we want to display that information. If we jump to the styles, we can adjust the spacing in between each of the images. So let's just bump that up a little bit to maybe five pixels. And then the thumbnail, this is where you can do some really cool things. If you want to make a sort of effect when you mouse over to get some interaction or some get some feedback to the user that something will happen when they mouse over, you can do that. So let's just jump to the hover section. You can see we can do things like add in images or we can add in font icons. So let's just click the font icon. You can see search is the first one that pops up, which is fine. We can choose anything we want. We can just go through and search through there. We can adjust the sizing and everything. We could even choose an overlay color if we want to when we actually take our mouse over. So at the moment, we just get the little symbol. But what we can do is we can choose an overlay color. And you'll see that, that immediately puts an overlay color. And if we want to adjust the opacity of that, we can simply come into the overlay color, reduce the opacity until we get exactly what we want. So now we get a visual marker to tell people that when they click, something will happen. So all really cool. And the nice thing is this is completely dynamically generated using advanced custom fields and ultimate add-ons for Elementor and their gallery widget. So it's a really great way of getting a great looking gallery where you want it with dynamically generated information. So before we wrap this video up, let's just save this page and take a look at this in action. So we'll just update our page and we'll jump over to our test page, refresh this now so we'll see our new gallery. So we'll refresh the page. There's our gallery. If we mouse over, you can see our rollover effect is in place. The justify option is in place. And if we click any of these images, we now get that nice light box effect, which we can easily scroll through and see all of our images. So very, very easy to do just using a couple of simple plugins and a little bit of logic inside Elementor Pro. 
So there we go. That's how we can use Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor with Advanced Custom Fields Pro and Elementor Pro to create great look in dynamic galleries. If you're interested in any of these plugins, all the links are in the description below. They are affiliate links where applicable, and if you click on them, it costs you no more money, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel to help us create great more content for you. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, but let me know why you didn't enjoy the video so I can create better videos in the future for you. Speak in the comments section if you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else you'd like to see covered in the future, please pop those in the comments section below. Let's get a conversation started. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts and until next time, take care.